The screencast is to show you how to use Khan Academy's SAT essay writing section. Your first step is to go to khanacademy.org slash mission slash SAT slash practice slash essay um, right up here in your URL um, and log into Khan Academy. And it, once you do that, it will bring you to this page. Um, you have two different essay practices in Khan Academy and you can choose either one. They're both the same task. It's just different texts. So I'm just going to click on the first one, Todd Davidson, Government Must Preserve National Parks and click on start. So it tells me um, what the terms of this are, and I'm going to just go ahead and agree to those terms of service. And I'll do that again. And click on let's start writing. Um, so here you can go through and see the different options, um, kind of walking you through how this works um, but that's the purpose of the screencast so you can look at that if you want or you can just hit got it or view later um, to close out of that so this is where the sat essay practice takes place so i've got um, the prompt which at this point you should be pretty familiar with um, explain how the author builds his argument um, and we've got this one specifically is about to persuade his audience that the US government must continue to fund national parks. So as you can see, when I clicked on that and selected the text, I've got this option to highlight or copy. Um, so those are tools that are available to you as you're working in Khan Academy. Um, if you wanna highlight specific things or if you're trying to copy and paste evidence, you've got that option too. So here are my directions. And then when I keep scrolling down, it takes me to the text where I can read. Um, and it's about, a thousand words, maybe less, um, for the SAT. And then I've got two options that on here. I can start the pre-writing or start writing. Um, just like on the SAT, any pre-writing you do is not going to be scored in any way. So this is just kind of like a spot to plan your ideas um, if you feel like that's going to help you write. If you um, would like to use that, you can, or you can um, just hit the start writing button and then we'll go to writing down here. Um, you can give your title or your essay a title. It's definitely not required, um, especially not for the SAT. That does not give you any bonus points for having a title. Uh, but then you'll write your essay in this space. So um, you go through, you explain how the author built their argument, um, the specific things that they do. You can save it as you go. Um, you can change your text here. You've got the undo button, the redo button, and then down here will be a download button once you've um, actually have something written. Okay, so at this point I have written my essay um, in the writing space after I read the text, and I'm gonna click on the blue signal check button at the bottom. And what this does is it reads through my writing and gives me feedback on what I wrote. So each of these different areas, reading, analysis, and writing, those are the three areas that you're actually scored on on the SAT. So if I go through each of these, it will give me feedback on how I did in those areas and what I can do to improve. So if I go down and look at each of those, I can see my writing, analysis, and reading areas, as well as specific parts of my essay um, that have feedback on them of things that I do well and things that I need to uh, fix. So I can read through it, I can edit this, and I say, yep, I took care of it. Um, and then that kind of checks it off my list. So this gives you immediate feedback once you hit that signal check. Once you kind of take care of everything, you can hit turn in and it kind of redoes that signal check, says success, review your work, and brings us back to that same thing of looking at how I did on um, the essay and with that feedback. So you write your essay, you hit signal check, um, you can then fix everything and hit signal check again, or sorry, instead of signal check again, you can hit turn in and then it just reruns the signal check. Um, and then you can kind of keep doing this over and over um, if you'd like to, to really get a sense of what is required to get fours in all three of these areas and what you need to do in your own writing to improve that.
Um, so for class, you will write your essay one time, hit signal check, and then take a screenshot of this area of your reading, analysis, and writing, um, your little Wi-Fi signals, and turn that in on Schoology so that I can see the different areas um, that you did well in and things that you need to improve on. And then from there, if you want to edit and do your signal checks as many times as you want between now and the SAT, that is something that you are more than welcome to do.